we were coming out of uh, two gigantic records with Blink-182. We were exhausted. We were overworked. Uh, we needed space from each other. Um, I've been doing at that point, you know, I, I don't know, five or six records that were all that kind of similar sound. I think out of insecurity, I sensed that uh, musically there was cooler things that we could do. But I didn't really know what those were, you know. Um, I was a massive fan. Uh, I have always been a massive fan of Fugazi. They were the radio head of punk, you know, where everything they did was forward thinking, credible, and mattered. And, and, they were, and they were really fucking good. So I knew that I loved bands like that too, but that it, I, didn't, I felt they weren't showing through in the Blink music. Um, and I wanted to figure out how to have that come through, and I didn't, I didn't know how. So I took an advantage of a break that we had to go challenge myself in a number of different ways. Can I figure out how to make those influences come through? Can I do it on my own? Am I capable of doing something good without the other guys? That could be a crutch, you know, Blink's big and I have two great musicians I play with. Could I do something that's good without those guys? I like those types of challenges, not because, you know, it wasn't because I wasn't satisfied or I was wanted to be some, you know, solo artist. I like to challenge myself mentally, um, you know, artistically, uh, I'm just wired that way. And that, that is way more important to me. That journey is way more important to me than fame or money or anything. That's why if you look at my career, with everything I do from companies and music and doing movies and stuff now, it's like I'm always doing something completely new, <laughs> you know, wondering if I can do a cool version of it. Um, but at the time, Boxcar Racer was that. So what that meant was, you know, what are those influences? That meant heavier guitars. That meant really dynamic parts that were like quiet and then get really loud. That meant singing about things that were somewhat political because I was a huge conspiracy theorist at that time. I mean, I love that. I, and the reason I like conspiracies is because it's like a bunch of things that you, it's a treasure hunt to figure out what's really going on. You get little pieces of information, you know, and you try and assemble it. And, and I was so into all that stuff. So I was like, how do I take all these other parts of me, you look at a human being and you think you know who they are because what, you've listened to six records? You know, I wrote six songs on six records, <laughs> you know, like, so you know everything about me. No, I mean, I, I love politics and I love astrology and I love the universe and space and physics. I'm enamored by physics and how science works. You know, there's all these things that I'll do that no one knows, but with Boxcar Racer is like, how do I start walking in that direction and bringing some of those things out? And that translated itself into a record um, that was extremely emotional for me. And the reason was I was out to prove something to myself. I was out to, to prove something, I think probably to the world, that I was capable of something. But there was a problem. I hurt my back really bad at the time. I broke my first disc. So I got really, really on painkillers like huge, but I remember the first time I went to the doctor and, and he walked in and saw my big x-ray on the wall and he goes, oh my God, you got a big herniated disc. Well, it's sticking like that far out of my fucking spine. And he goes, well, we gotta, we gotta get rid of the pain because the pain was so bad that I would literally fall on the ground in tears. I couldn't stand up for more than like four minutes, five minutes. Well, what we found out was is the disc was broken and tangled up in the biggest nerve in my body. So it was sawing through a nerve this thick called the sciatic that goes down your hips and into each leg. Um, so during that record, insecurities and passions and um, trying to prove to myself and the world and, and, um, and everything else that goes into a, a weirdo like me <laughs> surfaced into a record that was probably one of the more brilliant records I've been a part of in my career. Um, I think I accomplished what I was looking for, but I, I figured out a new way to write music. Mm -hmm. 